Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this video, we're going to be going over the new update that was just announced on Twitter by Apex Legends and pushed out to all servers. So Apex Legends tweeted out about 30 minutes ago saying we pushed out a small server update to fix the following. First off, they fixed when you would place a rampart wall at the feet of players on the train, it would kill them, which is great because there are a lot of little issues with the rampart walls on the train in Winter Express. Next, they fixed the error causing players to die while charging a sentinel. Now, I hadn't heard of that, but I'm glad it is fixed. Lastly, they tweeted out saying players being able to be killed while spawning on the train before they have control has been fixed, which is really good because randomly dying in the LTM can be one of the most annoying things. Next, I wanted to cover a little update news we got on hardware bans and how people get banned for cheating in Apex Legends. So someone named Dolphin tweeted out about an hour ago saying, this is an issue Apex Legends. Your hardware ID bans are not effective. Cheaters are abusing a glitch to get a level one bronze account into predator lobbies. It shouldn't be possible and it's been like that since season two. This guy has 500 banned accounts since season two. And thankfully, Connor Ford or Respawn Hideout, the Apex security guy at Respawn, replied to this tweet saying, I'm aware of this dude. Hardware bans aren't gonna stick to spoofed hardware. That seems obvious. Hardware bans do work when the user isn't spoofing the entire time. I'm aware of this user and have been tracking them. So it seems like it might be a little easy to get around the anti-cheat if you do certain things, but fortunately, usually Respawn Hideouts does find out about it. Lastly, I wanted to cover a new update we got about the Apex Legends Global Series. So earlier this morning, Apex Legends tweeted out saying the action never stops as we're excited to announce the next round of ALGS competition, the Winter Circuit. In the next three months, Series, the best teams in the world will compete for a spot in the playoffs and a $750,000 prize pool. Now, they did go on to explain more about certain changes they did make to the tournament and how it works in an announcement. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see the whole thing. But I want to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and turn on the notification bell. But it's been your boy, Seth Lee, and I'm out.